holding those boards up at an angle while I was trying to just drill a screw in and then at the perfect position is pretty hard. You can see that my face is quite red right now. Um, but I will continue. I will not be defeated. Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Tris. This is Double O'Neill and this is my model railway. Um, if you haven't already seen my channel before, I've been building up a model railway from having limited experience from when I was younger, but I hadn't actually been doing any model railway work when I'd been younger. When I'd been younger, when I was younger, uh, my father had been doing all this and I just ran the engines around flat out or whatever, um, but I enjoyed it very much when I was then and then I kind of what I would call grew out of it in my head. I was like, you know, I'm growing up, I should be playing with trains. Um, but as I grew up, I realized just how much I missed them and that it completely was my thing. Um, and so I couldn't wait to build a, a model railway in my loft and here I am. So I built up the model railway. If you haven't been following me already, um, you can check out my videos of how I got from literally nothing to here. So you get to see every part. Um, and this episode is all about putting the sky up, um, or the back scene. Um, but there's no scene, it's just, well, it's just sky. Um, and so you can watch what we're doing in the video. Um, so it's, it's very simple what I've done. I built up a frame that I used very, very thin screws so we didn't upset the wood. And I only screwed in a little bit, put a frame up. Um, that you'll see that in the video. I'll have that playing after I've talked to you about this. I then painted the wood blue, which is actually the same colour as my hobby room downstairs. I had a pot of paint left over. I didn't need much left. Left. I didn't need much to do it, um, and so I painted that up. And by doing a one layer with the white backed um, hardboard that I brought, which was three millimetre hardboard, um, it allowed me to um, have um, a kind of a patchy look to it. So it's almost like there are clouds. Maybe if you look at it, you can see it's not one bold color that's up there. So that's gonna be wonderful. So when I do have my shots of the engines going around, hopefully now, once I get some better lighting in it, cause I want to have a strip of wood here with lighting underneath it and you can't see the light itself, but it'd be lighting up the railway. Um, that'll be really, really good. And I might even have one further down. I don't know yet, we'll have a play. Um, and the yeah the benefits for me is that when I do film I haven't got the black cavity of kind of it's like looking into space I need stars up there um, it might look better now um, and I've been missing having something there um, so really looking forward to that as well as now what I can do is what we've got at the back here I'll just turn the camera so you can see a bit more um, yeah we'll go there we'll zoom in a little bit We'll get my finger over the screen there. And are we in focus? I don't know, I never quite know if I'm in focus or not. Um, and what we're gonna have back here is I wanna have it raising um, into kind of like a, a hill. And then we have trees all around here. So you don't ever see where it joins up with the hill joining up, because you never see a hill joining up with the actual sky. It kind of just disappears. So I wanna have them all going off the back here um, I'll have some boards back here which allow me to support all that and the reason I haven't done anything on the front boards is because I want to put the back ones on in to reach or well, this back area is tricky so but it's not going to be too crazy but I might have something where um, there might be a bridge or I, I don't know I've got lots of little ideas of what we could do um, but first I had to do this get that up there and then it'd be great um, so yeah, follow me along for the journey. It's pretty self-explanatory what I'm doing. I'm screwing bits up on my own in self-isolation. It's been tricky. Um, there's a couple of bits during the video. I'm going to probably repeat a couple of things. Um, but yeah, it was it was hard work on my own. Um, I picked this size of sheet because I could have gone for bigger based on the fact that my loft hatch is only so big and I could only fit one of these up at a time. Um, so yeah, so it's been very enjoyable for me. Now it's done, I look at it, and I can't wait to get the rest of it on there, get some trees on, some shrubbery and various things, a house in the background, I don't know. Um, and it should be good. It's that or get a new roof and I have square sides and I could have a fantastically big railway. Um, 
but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed watching what you're watching. Um, don't forget to hit subscribe if you, if you like all this kind of stuff and you want to see more. Um, and if you want to, um, you know, hit like because you liked it, obviously do that. Um, yeah, follow me along for the journey and I hope you might learn something from it or get the um, inspiration or confidence to have a go at doing it. Because, um, well, what's the worst that can happen, right? Um, famous advert, that one. And anyway, see you soon.